Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Pathway from CCT Vandana Krishna. This is a neat grid pattern with lots of options for decorating and customizing however you want. Um, and so what I'm going to do for this one, just so that way I can, because it's real, it's easy, and so just so I can show you how one grid is done, and then I'll show you an example of one uh, in a four square. But in the spirit of trying to uh, keep these quick, that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm going to draw a big, whoops, try to make it a square, inside my little bijou tile. And the bijou tile is about two by two, if you are not familiar. All right. So first step is we're going to round off of round off these corners, and um, well, as you do it, you can kind of see how far you want to go. But just kind of like that, just rounding out the corner. Just like anything with with this, you know, try it, try it a few times, and uh, and then you know, you, then you find how you want to do it. All right, next is in the center or close to it, a uh, small orb, and then aura that orb. It's kind of like we're making a donut. And that too, um, I'm thinking, mm, I could have made that a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. All right, then next step is we're going to put some uh, big curve lines in the center of each line, or, you know, of each box. And then this is, it's going to be kind of like a, uh, it, it's essentially auraing, but it's, it's kind of, a, it's, it's a little weird ish. And that's what I think attracted me to it. I'm like, Ooh, what a neat idea. All right. So you see the pattern and you see this, you know, the, the um, like this is the wheel we'll say, but so we're going to aura the outer edge of this. And so you can decide how how far, you know, away from from the edge that you want to aura. So I'm going to do, let's just say like this. And I'm just auraing all of the contours just like we would, you know, any other aura, right? But just like that. My my biggest challenge with this one is like, okay, where to start? Where to, you know, so that way I don't cuz I kind of have a little bump here. Um and so I, I debate on, well, should I start in the middle of this or should I start there? That's, you know, if that's my biggest challenge with this one, that is good. Okay, now, of course, tons of ways to, to finish it off. Um, this one, what I'm going to do, because I didn't do it on the, the little sample that I did, is let's, I'm just going to shade in this, uh, shade in, color in, where you know the aura aura section now if by chance this is the first time that you have watched one of my videos see that little bump there the uh because there's no such thing as a mistake in zentangle i call them course corrections and we can just smooth that bump out just like that as we're filling it in so this is a great way to uh take care of any areas that you're not so happy with the only caveat with this as a course correction is you can only you know expand out so if I did if I let so if I went uh, and I decided oh well, this one is this is too far too close to this edge um, no wait depends <laughs> uh, I was caught myself there anyway I think you might um, might and hopefully get what I'm meaning by that so let's see if it was too far oh, if it was too far this way then it's easy because then I can just take some shavings off um, it's just you can't go the other direction obviously all right like so for instance if like uh, this was too far this way. I couldn't go, I can't go less because I'm filling it in. There we go. Y'all are probably just laughing because it's like, hmm. <laughs> oh, some days I try to 
try to give an example and then my brain sort of stops. But that's all right, because you know what it's hard to do sometimes is to tangle and even just filling in like this, tangle and talk at the same time. All right. And so this is just in one of many ways to finish this off. And like I said, in the description section, uh, in the for more inspiration, uh, you'll see uh, her handiwork here. And some great ideas, and I'm sure that you will come up with some your of your own. Uh, these are just things that you can go on. But anything that has big open areas like this, you can feel free to to decorate however you want. Of course, you know you could add color. I just stick to the traditional, especially for these videos, um, because I just want to share how we do them, so that way then you can have lots of fun. And then let's see. I'm gonna do. We'll do the outer ring of this. Oh, and see, and here's where, if I wanted to, I can at least make the outer ring a little bit bigger if I wanted to. Not much I can do about that inner ring because it has the... Although I can I can work to not make it any smaller. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. There we go. So that is one way to finish it off. And then, of course, um, you know, you can... <coughs> Excuse me. You know what? Let me do this as I'm thinking about it. I was worried because it, it is kind of wet, but let, let's just do this. Um, I'm going to add some graphite. This is a all of a sudden thought about it. I wasn't going to do this, but sometimes you just get inspired and it's just like, well, let's just do it. Because I know I've had um, some folks on uh, my Tangle Addicts community on Facebook talking about shading and just not being uh, sure you know, where to shade and things like that. So I do try to give some examples um, just to help. All right. And oh, that's a weird tortillon. This is why you don't do them like this, because I need to find a toothpick to poke that out. All right. So I'm going to just bring this out here a little bit. Towards the center, and with this being so you know so large, it makes it easier to do some shading. If you're working small, you just have to be careful because what we want to avoid is, you know, having the whole thing be gray. And, but if that's what you want, that's you know you can do that. And this, oh well, no, there's still some. I was feeling like I was almost doing that here. But you know, see that kind of adds some adds some puffiness to it. Could also do. Um, you know, out here as well. Although, you know what I think I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. I mean, since I've, I've kind of just gone over that line, I'm just going to go a little, well, some of it's on the inside, some of it's on the outside, just because I'm, I was being a little, because I, I changed my mind, number one, here. <laughs> and then I was kind of being a little, a little sloppy. All right. Oh, and I'm going to use, okay, get rid of that one. All right. <laughs> So I'm just going to smudge this out on the outside. A lot of times, that you know, uh, with Zentangle, we don't generally, um, I mean, unless you just, you know, want to, do anything like with the outside border. But because I made that a hard um, a hard line, sometimes it's kind of fun to do something like this. And isn't it amazing? I didn't really, I didn't put any graphite on the inside except for where, where I was a little sloppy. But look at how that just pops. It's just amazing. So there's one idea. Here are, uh, this one I did this in a, in a four square. So that way you can see, if you do it in a grid pattern, how cool it looks. Um, but uh, I would highly recommend if you're going to decorate, maybe decorate, pick one way and stick with it. With this, I just did some samplings of some different ideas um, that you could do. So like this one is the, um, the opposite of this. Uh, this one I just kind of just did the outside. Could it, could uh, I could have popped that little middle? I don't know. I feel like I should do that right now because I think it would look neat. <laughs> um, and then here just drew some some diagonal lines. Did some oring on the edges. Um, it's all up to you and your creativity. So um, just wanted to share that so you could see and um, and be inspired. So with that. 
If you enjoyed this video, would love to have a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet uh, to my channel, would love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, click the, that button there that says subscribe. And then also uh, click the notification bell next to it so you can decide how you want to be notified, if you want to be notified at all. Uh, also in the description box a little further down are ways to connect with me. I do do some free classes and I have some paid classes I, um, uh, that I'm offering. I also have a, uh, a membership club if that's something, if, if you want to have content. This is something that I have just started at the, at the, the timing of this video. It's been, oh, I think I, I started promoting it uh, uh, at the beginning of this month. Um, and our first class is coming up, but uh, you'll there's a link there, and you can uh, check out the content. Uh, right now, I'm I'm calling it. Uh, uh, if you, if you sign up, you'll be a founding member, and uh, whatever I add to the platform, you will uh, be grandfathered into you know all access uh, and stay at the same price that is now, which is fifteen dollars a month. So so I have that going until I get things all set up, and then at some point that uh, that opportunity will go away. So if you really enjoy tangling and you enjoy the way I teach it, um, I would be honored if you would uh, join us. So with that, I wish you lots of happy tangling.